Why, hello there. How's it going? My name is Doug, and I'm going to teach you guys how to use the pen tool on Adobe Photoshop CS6. And you're probably here because this uh, tool is very confusing and it, it really pisses you off. Why? Because I've been there, so let's just get straight to this. And by default, you're at the move tool. All right, so you can move this stuff around, but we need to get to the pen tool in order to use it. So if you don't know how to get there already, all you have to do is click on this button down here or just hit the shortcut P so you can get there quickly. And we're going to be using the path um, pin. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys how to use the shape later, but we're going to go to the path. And this is all by default, so I'm not messing with anything. And what we're going to do is we're going to outline this apple. And if you want to use this image, I have it in the description so you can follow along. So if you would like to bring that up right now, just pause the video. And one, two, three, here we go. So I'm going to click right here just to start the, uh, the selection. All right, We're going to do this path and then make a selection. And what most people would do is they just go around like this, but it's not very eh, real. It's it's it, ah, it's just horrible. So if you do this and you get to this point, you're like, man, this is ugly. Control Alt Z or Command Alt Z just goes back more than once and just keeps going back. Okay, so what I'm going to tell you guys to do is I'm going to tell you to make this click right here, and then go down into this part of the apple, and then we're going to click and hold. Do not let go yet, and you're just going to drag left or right. And I'm going to drag it to the right so that it fits right there perfectly. And if it's not really that perfect, then it's not perfect. You know, who cares? This is just a tutorial. And then the next step would be to go down, right? But when you go down, it makes this little arch, and that really pisses you off, and I know it does. So all you really have to do is hit Command-Z or Control-Z to backspace. Then you're going to click the Alt or Option button, okay? And then click right in the middle, and it cuts it off, okay? And then you can continue doing this, and you can just go around and around and around and around, and just click on... Alt or Option, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC to keep going. Now let's just say I don't really care of what it looks like and I'm just going to make a selection. Most people would make this selection or make this path, make this all together, and then they would just hit Enter and it would go away and then you'd get pissed off. Well, what you got to do is one, hit Command Z to bring that back up and then it would make you finish that part again. And then Command or Control, you click the path or the selection, whatever you would like to call it. I really don't know what the correct term word is. doesn't matter to me. So what you can do now is let's say this is selected, all right? And there's actually three different ways to make this into a selection that you can move and mess with, all right? You can go over here to Paths, and then you can hit Command or Control and click on this image, and it selects it. And then you can hit V or the Move tool up here, and then you can move it around. Now let's say you don't want that and it's not selected yet and you want to be quicker with it, like do exactly what I would do. Command or control and then enter or command return on a P or a Mac would make the selection that quickly. All right. Or you can go up here and you click on P so that the pen tool is out. And then there's these uh, little options right here. There's selection, mask, and shape. We're going to click on selection and then click OK and then it selects it. All right. Now, another thing that I want to show you before we get into the, the other stuff is that, you know, you click Command and on this path, and let's say you want to, now you decide to, you know, bring this down and finish the apple. All you would have to do is come up to it, and if you see that there's a plus sign in the middle, so I'm off of it, there's a star looking thing, and then there's a plus. Click that, and now you have another point to your line, and then all you'd have to do is hold Command, and as you see, the thing turns white on the pointer and then you just click down and drag and you can put it to wherever you want and let's say you just want to keep doing that and click on command and just do whatever you have to do to make it you know nice or you can do this let's say you click the plus right here and then you click on option or alt what that does is that does the twist so command moves it and then alt or option twist alright now let's say you want to delete something maybe you don't want this or whatnot you go over this point and then it's you know the subtract sign and you click on it and there you go it subtracts that all right now another thing that was added to the CS6 edition is the masking let's say you have this little selection looking thing and you click on mask it masks everything around it so that's pretty neat and then actually if you click on mask there's other options over here in this area like density and feather like you can click on feather like that and then you can feather out the mask but you know this tutorial really isn't about that so I'm gonna go back over here or you click on shape which fills it with the shape that you have now my shape is this because um, over here in the the shape path or the shape um, what's what's it called 
the shape section where you can make shapes, I have it set to where the lines are, are like this. And you can make them solid like this, or you can make them dotted. All right? Now let's say you you know want to make it to where the fill, there's some fill in there. You click on that and click on red, and so the inside's red. All right? So, you know, the pen tool is very, very, you know, it's neat. It's it, it's better than using any of these wand tools, um, which is what I usually use to select stuff. But the pen tool is so accurate if you really get into things. Uh, so let's say we go to the pen tool and we get rid of this fill by clicking this part. And let's just, actually, let's say we go to the path because we don't even want that line. And we can just backspace on all of that. You know, you can do... A bunch of crazy stuff with this and if you hit command or control plus or minus it zooms in and out and you can get really into detail and let's say right here command and click you can get right on it like perfect all the way around it and then you can command enter and then it's right there and then if you hit B you know you can paint right over it and it's a perfect selection right or there's one other cool thing that you can do let's see let's go click out and click on P actually first the first thing you want to do is go to the brush you can click on the brush itself or hit B and you can change the size or whatever type of brush you want. Let's say we want this brush. And let's see, that's way too big. Let's go all the way down to like 20. So it's like that. No, actually, let's go lower than that. Let's go to like 8. All right, so 8's like that. All you would have to do is click on P for the pen tool. Click on this right here and go to Fill Path. And then click OK. Oh, my bad. You click on this, you can go to stroke path, and you can click on brush. So your brush is set to the, the settings that we just had. Hit OK, and it can fill through it. Or you can have it se selected like this and hit B, and then hit enter, and it fills up. So there's a bunch of cool things that you can do with the pen tool. That's just, you know, the basics of it. There's more to it, and if you guys like this video, I might make another video to go more in depth with the pen tool and what you can do. So if you like this video, hit like, leave feedback, and share it with your friends. My name is Doug, um, and if you need any help, just hit me up on Twitter at um, alwaysonboard. So twitter.com slash alwaysonboard, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.